Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to show you how to install Portainer Agent on a server and then that'll be able to where you can connect it into a Portainer UI and make it to where you can manage that server and your current server in one UI. So, a little bit about this series is I'm going over a home lab, so I'm going to go over installing things, getting things working, everything like that. So, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need support, you can get it on the Big Bear community and join that. It's a Discord. And let's get started. So, what we'll need here is a portainer uh, install of the UI. And you can see a, a video down in the description and I'll walk you through installing Portainer on Proxmox. And you will need a, a Docker installation on another server or another uh, VM in Proxmox. So I'm gonna start on the homepage right here. And then you'll see one environment, which is the local one. And I'm gonna go to environments right here. Then I'm gonna go add environment. And then I'm going to say Docker standalone. And I'm going to say start wizard. And you'll copy this command right here to uh, to install the Portainer uh, agent on there. So now I'm going to go over to my um, Pro Proxmox installation. So I've got Docker 1 and then Docker 2. And then you'll go on your console right here in the Docker 2. Or, or whatever server you, you have that doesn't have a portainer on it. So it does have Docker running. So you can see it's pulling the container. It's starting up the portainer agent. So now you will uh, go over, back over to the portainer and you'll name it. So I want to do Docker to YT for YouTube. And then I'm going to put a the IP address in there of my installation and then you'll see it's host and then port and then I'm gonna press connect right here once you put your name your environment address to host the IP address and the port in I'm gonna say connect and then you'll see it over here docker to YT it is a new environment so you can go up here to home again and you can see it is up and running. And now you can live connect to it. And now you can install stacks and things in this environment. And then plus you have the local environment too that you can switch between. So you can switch between the local and the two, uh, the other server. So this makes it to where you can have different workloads on different servers and be able to manage it from one UI. So now you'll have local and you can tell it's local by having this docker.sock because it's locally getting the, the sock from there. And then uh, you can tell it's remote because it'll ha have the IP and then the port. And then um, or you can uh, uh, a live connect to the local side right here. And then you can go live connect to the other uh, docker2 right here. Um, but you can also um, go into the environments right here and you can add a group and then group your um, your workloads. So you can have workload one. Then you can say it's a production or our production right here. And then you can create a tag. So you can say production tag. And then um, you can put the local and associated environments over here. So the local will be the production and then um, I'm gonna create a testing group and then this will have the testing tag on it. And then I'm gonna put the Docker 2 YT in it and then I'm gonna press create group. And then now you can go back to your home right here and you can see that it's in group production and then group te a testing and um, you can also go in here in the in the edit environment and you can go here and you can add the tag to this environment. And then now this is tagged production and um, you can go into the environment of the Docker 2 now and you can add the testing tag to it. 
and then you can update environment and then now it's in the testing tag so it's in testing group and then testing tag and then you can go up here and you can filter by those specific things like you can you can say that i want to only want the docker can the docker installations with the agent on it so here you go and then um i only want the ones that are up or only want the ones that are down you can filter by the production tag and the testing tag then you can filter by the unassigned which there's no unassigned right now and then you can filter by the production group and then you can filter by the production testing group so and then you can filter by the agent version right here too then you can sort by and then sort by status so it makes it easier to organize your um your workloads and be able to filter by them so if you have a lot of these because you can add uh, more environments to the installation and be able to ma manage each environment from here so the groups and tags help by organizing everything so you can go to up here you can search and then see the docker 2 is there then you can search for local and then the locals there so i just showed you how to add groups and tags and makes it to where you can organize things better so i just showed you step by step on how to get portainer up to a portainer agent this makes it to where you can manage it all from one ui on portainer and uh you'll you can manage different servers you can even manage kubernetes things like that so if you like this tutorial subscribe comment like support the channel and also, if you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community, and also you can suggest new videos in there as well, and I'll be glad to look at it and see if I can make a video on it. So, stay tuned for more.